Do you guys want to create the best WWE 2K18 universe mode or probably any other games going forward in universe mode? If you do, I'm going to show you the best ways possible that you can make a universe mode. I'm going to go, I'm going to show you like a draft strategy, kind of a GM mode mix. Um, especially if you're recording for YouTube, these ideas would be amazing to have for your universe mode. So what you're gonna do, right, is you're going to go ahead and you're going to create a new universe mode. Okay, so we're gonna go to slot three. We're gonna create a new universe mode here. Um, all my tips are very useful and it's gonna be really good to see. Okay, power rankings. Obviously these should come into effect when you're using them, but uh, here we go. So what you're going to wanna do first is you're going to want to do a draft on your own because the game does not give you a draft. So what I want you to do in order to complete this draft is do this. Use Google Docs, especially if you're playing with a friend. Share those documents with a friend and then you guys can do a draft together with whoever you have in the game. You guys can choose what, what championships you want. I recommend making your own championships. Uh, Choose the number of matches for each brand if you guys want the same superstars. My um, recommendation here is you grab a Google document, create your shows and drop your superstars to each brand, preferably with a friend. So if you're gonna do Raw and SmackDown, do Raw and SmackDown. If you guys are gonna create your own show, create your own show or, you know, yeah, do whatever you want and, uh, you know, Create your own pay-per-views and do all that stuff. Decide if Legends, current superstars, or both should be in your universe mode. And uh, in my opinion, you should probably keep around 35 superstars to each brand unless you guys are going like insane. Um, stuff like that. Like I have all these superstars. Um, my, 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 in my opinion, you should put keep 35 on each brand and for what I'm going to give you tips on making a better universe mode you can use these extra tips as well if you guys are doing a comedy universe mode take all these superstars and now yeah, yeah this would this would be crazy to do but take all these superstars right you're gonna take all these superstars you're going to change their entrances you're going to change their attires and you're going to change everybody's move set now, if you really want a comedic universe mode, that is just something I recommend. These ideas would also be much better if you had a friend playing with you, but you do not need a friend, nor do you even need to be recording this. Okay, so now I'm going to give you some of my tips that can really help you with the universe mode, especially if you're recording this for YouTube or you just really want to have fun with a friend, doing this on your own wouldn't be as fun. However, it would still be fun if you were doing this on your own. So here I have some extra tips for a legitimate universe mode. Add a money system. So it's kind of going to be kind of like a GM mode, you know, SmackDown vs. Raw 2008. Uh, you know, take the average of the stars each show gets and each match gets and, you know, do the math. Um, and whatever the, your show rating is, um, you get extra perks. So like, for example, SmackDown gets four stars and then they would get 50K dollars. Raw gets five and they get 100K. Raw can spend more money on recruiting more superstars or trading or even storylines if you wanna go that route. You know, to keep things interesting, do one free trade every month or more than one if you really want to, or you know, if you guys want to just do a trade, like a surprise trade, you could just do one every month. Or if you guys wanted to make certain matches to get certain superstars, you can also do that. Um, also, keep track of your history between champions, you know, and championships, okay? You, this is why I recommend making your own. Keep track of who's the longest rating this because it would just make things so much more fun for promos, so much more fun for things like that. And I also have a sample draft in the description. If you guys want to use my sample draft, you could. You don't have to. But, you know, because it's not really that good. I just took it off of Wikipedia. Um, and, uh, and I got more tips for you. Listen, especially if you're recording this, 
make sure you go back, right? You're gonna go back. You're gonna exit universe mode. I just need, I, you guys need to make sure that you have this down first, okay? Options. Audio volume. If you are recording this for YouTube, you need to keep your menu music all the way down and everything needs to be low. Preferably, turn the commentary off, have the SFX a little bit and have the cinematics off. The audience needs to be somewhat loud, but your voice needs to be louder, okay? Uh, entrance music, uh, I don't know, I just keep it all the way off due to copyright and stuff like that. And maybe you can add your own music to certain things at certain times. Maybe you just don't even have entrances at all. Or, you know, something like that. The best universe modes and what people really like to watch are universe modes that have competition. Do something between Raw and SmackDown or whatever shows you guys got created. Compete with each other. Make sure your brand is the better brand. Because then people are going to want to tune in every week. It's like, oh my god, he's doing this this week. Oh my god, he's doing this the other week. Oh my god, I don't know who to watch. This, these shows are so good. The fans will love that kind of stuff. Do a universe mode with your friend. I really encourage it, okay? I really encourage doing a universe mode with your friend. Competing with each other. Seeing who has the better brand by the end. Um, and kind of like a GM mode way. Or if you guys want to add any other perks, you know, let me know what you guys got in the comments section. Because this kind of stuff would skyrocket a YouTube channel if you were to ever make one. And create a universe mode, something like that, it would be fantastic. Hold on! Stop! Before you do anything, you gotta check out the Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. It's pretty freaking cool. Nick Inspo is on everything because I'm not an idiot. So, Nick Inspo, follow me everywhere. I'm interactive on everything and I'm active on everything. So, check me out.